Hello y'all and good afternoon. Welcome to another distance learning video here at the Texas State Asian Culture Museum. As always, I am Nick and today we're going to be doing a couple of folklore short readings on the legend of the samurai sword. This is in relation to the samurai sword katana video that I did a while back. So it would be nice to see how the legend and, and the origins of the samurai sword came about. So without further ado, here's the legend of Amakuni, the father of the samurai sword. Amakuni Yasusuna and his son, Amakura, were the head blacksmiths employed by the emperor to make swords for his armies. One day, so this legend of the samurai sword history goes, after returning from battle, the emperor and his warriors passed by Amakuni's forge without so much as a word, instead of greeting them warmly as they usually did. With great shame and horror, Amakuni's heart sunk when he noticed that the warriors came back most of their swords had been broken or badly damaged in the heat of battle. Amakuni and his son inspected the damaged and broken blades and realized that their failure was a result of incorrect forging. Vowing then and there to create the perfect sword and win back the Emperor's lost favor, Amakuni and his son locked themselves in the forge and prayed furiously to the Shinto gods for inspiration. On the seventh night, the divine came to both of them in a dream. A glowing image of a single-edged, slightly curved blade. As soon as the first rays of the sun infiltrated the forge, each knowing without a word exactly what they must do, they set about creating the war sword revealed to them by Kami. When Amakuni first presented his divine inspired sword to the emperor, the other swordsmiths thought him quite mad. But he persisted, further refining the methods he had developed, until finally, when the warriors returned from their battle the following year, not a single sword was broken. The emperor came up to the smith, and as he passed, he said with a smile, You are an expert sword maker. None of the swords you made failed in battle. Amakuni Hao won back the emperor's favor and better died a happy and contented old man. The next story is called The Legendary Masa Moon. Masa Moon, also known as Goro Nayu, was believed to have hailed from Sagami province and is credited with creating the social tradition of sword making, which involved creating a unique Hammond temper line. So the Hammond on the samurai sword is there's a discolored mixture here. Um, it kind of goes from dark to lighter uh, and silvery color. So it's just right along the lines here of the katana. Of uh, unique temp unique Hammond temper line of merchantistic crystals embedded in pure light matrix. Lots of resemble stars in the night sky. Samurai sword history regards Masamune's sword as some of the most beautifully crafted katana ever made, and his surviving swords are prized as national treasures. In Japanese sword folklore, his swords are often contrasted with those of later smith known as Muramasa, approximately 1500 AD. The Muramasa swords being regarded as violent British and evil, while the swords of Masa Moon were considered to be deeply spiritual, pure, and benevolent. One story that best illustrates the differences between these smiths is a legend that sees Mara Masa's and Masa Moon's student, which actually was impossible, as Samurai Sword History records these two smiths as being born almost 200 years apart, challenging his master to see who could make a finer sword. To set the sword, each sword was held to the current of a stream. Maramasa's sword was said to have cut a leaf in half that simply touched the blade from the current alone. But the master Masamun sword did not cut the thing. With the leaves miraculously avoiding it at the last second, as if to show it possessed a benevolent power that would not harm anything that was innocent or undeserving, even a simple leaf. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you all enjoy these quick folklore legends of the creation and history of the katana. Thanks so much. Have a great day and stay safe.